The person you see here is a French physiologist. His name is Claude Bernard. He came up with a term that explains the essence of physiology. That special French term is milieu interior. In English, it means internal environment. Well, what is this internal environment? It's the environment inside us. That is the environment inside of our body. What's the environment inside our body? Okay, well, our body is made up of cells, right? Yeah, those are the basic units of life. And what's inside and outside the cell? There's water. 60% of our body weight is water. There's water inside and outside the cell. Inside the cell, it's called the ICF or the intracellular fluid. And water outside the cell is outside, external. So it's the extracellular fluid. So outside all the cells, you have this extracellular fluid, which is outside the cell it's all around the body and this extracellular fluid is what forms the ecf all the water outside the cells together form the ecf or the internal environment why don't they just call it ecf why do they need to call it the internal environment or milieu interior? It's because there is something special about it. Well, this internal environment is very, very crucial to life. The ECF or the internal environment has to be maintained at a constant state in order for the body to function normally. All the functions of the body, of all of the systems of the body, work towards maintaining the constancy of this internal environment. If it is not maintained constantly, that can lead to pathology. The process of maintaining the constancy of the internal environment or the extracellular fluid is called as homeostasis, where homeo means similar, stasis means equilibrium. That means the maintaining the internal environment in a same state of equilibrium always. So maintaining it in a state of equilibrium means that all the opposing forces of the body are maintained in a balanced equilibrium state. And this is maintained all the time similar stasis similar state of equilibrium always it, that has to be maintained in order for the body to function normally and all the processes in the body everything that happens in our body is working towards maintaining that internal environment in a constant state. Any disturbance of this constancy can lead to pathology. For example, if you take the extracellular fluid 
it has a lot of ions in it like calcium potassium and so on we have a normal range of these ions calcium has to be maintained in a normal range potassium has to be maintained in a normal range any disturbance of that normal if it goes low that can lead to some disturbance if it goes high that can lead to some disturbance if calcium level goes low the person can get tetany some abnormal conversions can occur because of extreme deficiency of calcium if it goes high that can affect a person's heart similarly with potassium if it goes low that can affect a person's muscle they can get muscle cramps and so on if it goes too high it can affect their heart so any discrepancy of normal will lead to pathology so our body is always functioning in a way that this normal will be maintained as a normal and that state of being normal and constant all the time is a state of homeostasis which has to be maintained so that it doesn't lead to any pathology if you like the video click the thumbs up share it leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you can get updates whenever i post a new video until then happy learning